Hello and welcome back to Global Value. In today's video, we'll be performing a fundamental stock analysis of 3M Company, ticker symbol MMM. Mm. 3M, which stands for Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing, has seen their stock take a beating so far in 2020. They're down nearly 27%. <clears throat> their stock price just hit its 52-week low, which got me interested in looking at the business at a high level because 3M is a dividend king. What this means is that 3M has consistently raised its dividends for each of the past 50 years. So there's a very select number of businesses that have been able to accomplish this, and 3M is one of them, currently trading at a one-year low. So just because it did hit this low doesn't necessarily mean it's a deal, but it did pique my interest and make me want to take a closer look at the business. So let's do it. So at the time of recording this video, 3M is trading for just under $130 per share. As I mentioned, they're down 27% year-to-date. Over the past year, they're down 34%. Going back five years, 3M is down 9% compounded annually. And going back to 2005, 3M has only returned 3.1% compounded annually. Keep in mind that this is not including dividends. And as mentioned, 3M is a dividend king. Currently, their dividend yield is well over 4% well above what the S&P 500's dividend yield is. So they're down about $70 from their 52-week high. 3M is still a very big business. They have a $74 billion market cap. And so what does 3M actually do? 3M is a multinational conglomerate that has operated since 1902 when it was known as Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. The company is well known for its research and development laboratory and the firm leverages its science and technology across multiple product categories. As of 2020, 3M is organized into four business segments, safety and industrial, transportation and electronics, healthcare, and consumer. Nearly 50% of the company's revenues come from outside the Americas, with the safety and industrial segment constituting a plurality of the firm's net sales, so the majority of the firm's sales, Many of the company's 60,000 plus products touch and concern a variety of customers and end markets. So 3M was founded in 1902 and is based in St. Paul, Minnesota. We'll be performing a modified version of the eight pillar analysis originally popularized by Everything Money. Taking a look at eight different financial metrics to come to a holistic and beginning understanding of the business based off its financials. So let's get right into this. Starting off, we want 3M's average five-year PE to be below 22 and a half. So currently they're trading for 13 and a half times earnings. Over this time frame, they've traded for an average of 21 and a half times earnings. So just below that threshold. And so that's a check to start off on pillar number one. Pillar number two, we're looking for an average five-year return on capital that's above 9%. 3M does a great job here of keeping steady and above average returns on capital they average about 25% return on capital in an average year. So that's a check there. So far, so good. Two checks to start off. Pillar number three, we're looking for five-year revenue growth. So 3M has grown revenues from $31.5 billion in 2017 to about $35 billion in 2021. So some revenue growth here, not a ton, but that's another check on pillar number three. Pillar number four, we're looking for five-year net income growth. Again, 3M has grown net incomes from $4.9 billion in 2017 to about $5.9 billion in 2021. So similar story, not very high levels of growth, but it's been consistent and they're still growing. So far, so good. We've got four checks to start off. Pillar number five, we're looking for decreasing shares outstanding. When you purchase a share of stock, what you're really buying is a fractional ownership percentage in the underlying business. And when the business buys back shares, and decreases the number of shares outstanding, they're increasing your ownership percentage of the business and the percentage of the profits that you're ultimately going to be entitled to. So 3M has bought back shares. They've reduced their share count from about 613 million shares in 2017 down to about 585 million shares in 2021. So that's another check on pillar number five. That's a good sign as they've traded for reasonable valuations throughout this time. We're doing well here. Five for five to start off. Next up, pillar number six, we're looking for five-year free cash flow growth. Free cash flow is cash from operations minus capital expenditures. It's this column here in green. Free cash flow is the lifeblood of any business, and a business's ability to produce free cash flows is ultimately what the business is going to be valued on. 
Free cash flow can be used to reinvest back into the business, make acquisitions, pay down debt, buy back shares, and pay dividends. So 3M has grown their free cash flows from $4.9 billion in 2017 to about $5.9 billion in 2021. So that's very similar to their net income, and that's a check here as well. Averaged out over these five years, 3M produces about $5.5 billion of free cash flow in an average year. So one of the ways that 3M is able to spend their free cash flow is through cash acquisitions. In the past two years, they really haven't done much. They spent $25 million in 2020 on cash acquisitions. However, in 2019, they did spend nearly $5 billion, almost all of their free cash flow that year on an acquisition, and they did spend $2 billion in 2017. So it looks like given the right opportunity, 3M is open to being acquisitive, and they're spending big on some of these acquisitions. Although these acquisitions did happen a couple of years ago, it's probably still worth figuring out what they were and understanding have they gone well for existing shareholders or not? Have these acquisitions actually added value to 3M's business or did 3M make a mistake slash overpay for what they bought? If you're thinking about potentially investing in this business, you do want to do your due diligence and understand these acquisitions in more depth. Next up, pillar number seven, we want 3M's net debt, which is their long and short-term liabilities minus cash and short-term equivalents to be below their average five-year free cash flow multiplied by five. So at the end of the year last year, 3M had $13.5 billion of net debt. When we multiply their average five-year free cash flow of $5.5 billion times five, that comes out to $27.5 billion. So about $14 billion to spare here. That's going to be a check on pillar number seven. If 3M's ability to produce free cash flows is the exact same in the next five years as it was in the past five years, they will have plenty of money to pay off all of this existing debt. So that's a good sign. That means that the business is able to produce large amounts of cash flows relative to the leverage that 3M utilizes in their business. So far, we're doing awesome. We're seven for seven on the first seven pillars. Can 3M go eight for eight and be an eight pillar stock? Well, let's find out. So pillar number eight, the big pillar of them all, we want 3M's market cap to be below their average five-year free cash flow multiplied by 20. This will give us a starting point of a reasonable valuation for the business. Currently, 3M has a market cap of about $74 billion. When we multiply their average five-year free cash flow of $5.5 billion times 20, that brings us to $110 billion. So there is nearly a $36 billion margin of safety here and 3M has done it, they are an eight pillar stock. So just because 3M checked out in our analysis does not mean that you should run out and buy the business. You have to do your own homework and understand the business in more depth. This type of analysis is a starting point. It's not financial advice. Last but not least, 3M is a dividend king. Again, meaning that they've increased their dividends each year over the past. So they're among a select number of companies that have been able to do this. So while this feat is very impressive, we want to make sure that this dividend is healthy, that it's safe, and it's supported by 3M's ability to produce free cash flows. So their dividend has been steadily growing, again, for the past 50 years, and their free cash flows per share have also been growing. Over this time frame, and especially in the past two years, 3M has had more than enough cash to easily pay this dividend each and every year. So their dividend is well supported by their ability to produce free cash flows. This is a great sign, and this means that this dividend is in pretty good shape. So in summary, 3M is a dividend king that's also an eight-pillar stock. They check the box on all eight pillars. This is a business that deserves some further due diligence. Again, this type of analysis is a starting point. It's understanding if the business is worth diving into farther, but it is not financial advice or any sort of recommendation. So with that said, that's it for today's fundamental stock analysis of 3M Company, ticker symbol MMM. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stock analysis videos, and comment down below what business you want me to take a look at next. 3M was a subscriber request, so thanks for learning about 3M with me, and have a great day.